Whoa, whoa. Hey guys, my name is Anthony Hazelwood. You guys are watching my little vlog type thingy that I like to put together when I have thoughts on my mind that I want to stream through the internet to your faces so they can get into your brain holes. And then you absorb that information. Yes, your brain holes. That's what I said. Brain holes. Anyways, guys, my pool that I swim in. And there's this little pink thing here that I've been kind of... Oh, 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 right here. Yeah, oh, oh. yeah, this little pink. Anyways, yes. Okay. So, that was my pool. Anyways, guys, I just want to give a couple shout-outs right now to a couple people before I get into what I want to talk about in my vlog right now. Uh, first person that I want to give a shout-out to is Alicia Ludwig. You're an awesome girl. You're a great mom, great person. It, it's been a pleasure to, to know you and to continue to know you through all this time, and you've been a really good fan and friend to the Rando Commando Bandito little thing that we put together, and you are always and forever will be an up-to-no-gooder in my community so i just wanted to give that quick little shout out to you i know you've been asking for it and there you go girl uh, i also want to give a shout out to one of our affiliate youtube channels in iab productions or known as iab productions it's actually the channel that i started with when i first came into youtube and eventually i went off to my own thing and then you know the the other person in IAB took over and decided to do his thing with it, and that would be Jesse Galindo, who is currently in charge of that. But if you guys ever want to go watch some of my older stuff, you can go over to Rando Commando Bendito and look at a lot of my older videos where I was really terrible at making videos, and I made a complete ass of myself, which is what I do in all my videos, right? But if you guys want to go see me really poorly make videos, you can go over there and see how I've progressed through the ages, which is always something that I like to do. Even when I look at Philip DeFranco videos and see where he started and where he's at now, and Tobuscus, et cetera, et cetera, all these people. Well, anyways, right, right now Jesse's doing his thing on that channel, and I wanted to give kind of a, uh, you guys an idea of what he does. He, he, do, he does comic reviews and comic storyline reviews and the fallacies that he finds in him and things that he finds bad with him. And it's called Messed Up, it's called messed up Mondays. Because, you know, he's telling you what's messed up with all these comic books. And, um, you know, he sits there and he gives his opinion and whatnot. So that's pretty cool. Right now he's doing something that I found particularly interesting enough to talk about in my vlog, too. Um, he's talking about who the hottest Power Ranger was. Now, I frankly could care less who the hottest Power Ranger was. But I am going to give my opinion. Because there's only one hot Power Ranger. And that was the original Pink Ranger in the original series. She's the hottest. I don't care what has happened up to this point. Because that, you're talking about a different generation of people. And different hot women. I'm sure she's really saggy now and old. Sorry Pink Ranger. If you're not, please send me pictures. And tell me I'm wrong. You know, tell me that you're still in shape. Because I would totally bone down on you. Even to this day. Let me know. <laughs> Seriously, call me. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, uh, but other than that, I really don't care about this, but if you got, you know, I want to give a little interest in it because it is a pretty interesting topic, who the hottest is, because there's a lot of hot Power Rangers out there, I'm sure, but it doesn't matter because all the other Power Rangers except for the original sucked. Actually, uh, funny story, I just got done watching the original, like, Power Ranger movie back in the day with, like, all the slime and stuff, and I was like, I liked this as a kid. Dude, they totally had us duped, right? <laughs> Don't you hate those moments when you go back into your childhood and you're like, man, that was that was such an awesome show when I was a kid. And then you're like, oh my God, this sucks. What the fuck was I thinking? Oh, it's a bird. Right there, guys. I don't think you can see it, but whatever. Okay, anyway. Anyways, back to So uh, what I want to just end this with right now is, is um, I'm currently doing fantasy football on ESPN. And guys, I... Just, uh, I've never done it before, you know, and being such a big football fan, I'm so surprised that I didn't do this because it's actually really, really fun. So I just wanted to get a couple of, of opinions from you guys, anybody that plays fantasy football or is watching football right now, um, on who I should start this week. So I went and got Ogletree on waivers like I'm sure a bunch of people did. I got, I was one of the lucky ones that, you know, n you know, went and got him as soon as possible as I could and I just, I ended up getting him. Um, so... Uh, I can't start him as my main guy because I got Jordy Nelson and Marquise Colston, which are the go-to guys for Drew Brees and Aaron Rodgers. So, you know, I can't. But I do have Randy Moss. He had a good game. He, had, he gave me 10 points. But I'm thinking I need to put Ogletree in there because he will be replacing Robinson in that Cowboy, um, in that cowboy offense. And he will be that third guy. And then, you know, they're going to be double-teaming Des Bryant and Miles Austin. So I think he's a good pickup. But I want to know what you guys think. Do you think I should take Moss out of there? Because 
I don't know. You know, I just really don't know. So let me guys, let me know, guys, in the comment section below who you think I should start in that one. And then I went and traded Mark Sanchez because I had three quarterbacks. I had Jay Cutler and Peyton Manning. So I traded Mark Sanchez to get Doug Martin because I was a little thin on running backs. So I went and got Doug Martin because I think he's going to be good for that team. But I have Michael Bush right now as my second running back, and he's behind Matt Forte. So I'm thinking I'm going to have to take him out. But I don't know. He had those two touchdowns. So... Let me know, should I start Doug Martin over Michael Bush or should I keep Michael Bush in there? Because clearly they're going to put him in there in goal line situations to, to get touchdowns. So maybe he becomes a flex player later. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below, on my Facebook, Twitter, or even the space. My name is Anthony Hazelwood. You know I'm up to no good. You're amazing. And yes, I'm talking to you. By the way, my starting running back, Ray Rice, baby. Bam!